sale is this 34 foot Benford dory, freestanding masts, junk rig schooner. It's a flat bottom dory with single hard chine and a full length keel that runs from the front to the back. It's got a Rocknar Vulcan anchor, 10 mil chain, 1200 watt Maxwell windlass. I've got a foot switch for it, but it haven't been hasn't been fitted yet. Some of the running rigging I've set up temporarily because I wasn't exactly sure where I wanted to put it. Other blocks and pulleys I've set up properly. It's glass over ply construction. There was a soft spot just over there near that staunchion. Um, and that's been treated with Everdua and epoxy. There's the second mast. It's a bit of a windy day here. The hull could do with a cut polish, I suppose. It hasn't got anti-foul, but it's got copper coating on the bottom, but that requires someone to go down every now and then and give it a scrub with a green scourer just to activate the copper, which we haven't done. So you can see there's some growth underneath. No barnacles, just some weed. Uh, the two-speed winches have been installed. It's a brand new boat, really. The only trip it's done is from Caboolture down to here at Gold Coast City Marina. I sailed it down and it was beautiful. It handles absolutely beautifully on the water. It's got an outboard rudder, solar panel, bright work. That's over there is just a little platform I built for the autopilot, which comes with the boat just to get it down here. Up here we've just got the cockpit, Morse controls, Samson posts. The sails are brand new, they've only done the one trip. Um, the battens I've used aluminium poles because they're nice, strong, rigid, but also lightweight. I think it's the equivalent of the new bamboo. And that's it. The good thing about a junk rig is that you never have to leave the cockpit. You hoist the sails from here, you sheet in from here. You can have extra, I rig the sails up myself, you can have extra bits and pieces like yard hauls and batten hauls. I don't worry about them, I just have a, a halyard and a winch and I've sailed around on my other junk rig schooner that I had for years like that and I hardly ever use the others and just had too much rope in the cockpit. So I just go with a very simple setup and it seems to work very well. Coming down inside, on the port side we've got two control panels and isolator switches for them. Um, in the companion way there's just a locker there and temporary stairs. We've got new stairs that are almost ready to go in. There's the sides of them there. This is where the galley should go on the starboard side. As you can see we've sort of just painted undercoat throughout the whole boat. And it's a huge space here for a galley. That's the gas line running in. The back locker out there has two 4.5 kilo bottles that run through to here. So this is just an empty space. As I said, it's like a brand new boat. The reason we've listed it for 36,000 is that is almost exactly a third of the price of the materials to build it. So coming back to the companionway, I'll lift the stairs. Could you hold them for me, love? And under here we have a Volvo Penta. It's only a little 13 horsepower with a sail drive with a folding prop. Um, can't really see that well in here. But that there is 12 volt hot water service, which runs to the shower. Over this side there's the tank, inlets, outlets, pong box, etc. There's heaps of storage room in there. Um, the motor's pretty much brand new. I've done five hours on it and it was new when it was put in, I believe. So, 
on the port side as you come down the companion way we have the bathroom oh, that's just an exhaust fan Well, because that window's been blocked out for privacy, obviously. Kitchen sink. It's a 12 volt push button dunny. More lockers in here. There's the, 12, um, the DC 12 volt electricals. You can see everything's been beautifully done. All the wiring's been labelled. There's a the shower which is connected to the hot water service. Underneath the toilet's the holding tank, and there's the levers that are diverted either straight out or into the holding tank. And there's bilge under there, and there's also bilge under here. That's where the bilge pump is there. Here's all this wiring. That's for um, connecting stuff. There's two 40 volts coming in from that side and that's all the DC wiring from this side just for the house batteries to hook up to. Pretty simple process. Um, the galley extends back over here and sorry this is the navigation station or whatever you want to use it for. Um, that's just a pedestal for a table or a chair. It's supposed to be for a chair but we were going to use it as a table. And in here is the saloon section. It's just an inbuilt speaker. Under both seats are inbuilt water tanks. Again I've just used, it's not really undercoat but it's a low sheen paint and I use it because it's highly antifungal. And so you can paint over the top of it again. There's another hatch. There's also a hatch in the bedroom, in the V-berth. And the roof's been lined. That'll unscrew so you can get to the wiring. There's also wiring in behind there. And then from there we go down into the very big V-berth. Cupboards can go up on the sides there. Those two big bags, they're um, salvage bags. We're going to use them instead of taking a life draft with us. So if we get a hole in the boat or anything, you just inflate them and the whole boat becomes your life draft. So you're not abandoning your vessel or your food or your water. There's plenty of portals. The portholes here are all made by hand. And that's the boat. I'll try and add some video of um, her sailing down. She sails absolutely beautifully. She's a little tender at the moment because there's nothing in it at all. There's no fuel, there's no water, there's no food, there's nothing. But as tender as she is, she handled the rough weather coming down really, really beautifully. That's just the autopilot I've got temporarily hooked up got a lot of electrics that come with it everything you need but they all need to be installed um, it's a 12 volt stainless steel fridge here which might need to be regassed it's heaps of blocks and pulleys and things extra rope and that's it I'll try and put some photos up if you've got any questions just contact us via Gumtree um, we've priced it to sell. We won't be taking really silly offers at all. You know, I'd rather keep it. Thanks for your time.